Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a cracking day. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a bit of a different angle for you guys today. I'm doing a uh, get ready with me video. Uh, so I'm just in natural light. That's probably why I look a little bit different. I do have my fairy lights on, but you can't actually see them. But yeah, anyway, so I'm going down to see my mother-in-law today and the family for her birthday. So I thought I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on and I just spontaneously decided that I was going to film it. <laughs> so I'm, I was going to say I'm completely unprepared, but I'm not. I'm dressed. I've got, hang on, let me stand up. I've got black singlet, black pants, nice belt. Got my boots on. My boots are from Ariat's. Hang on. Oh, I'm not that flexible. No, I can't, I'm not that flexible. Um, yeah, so I thought that, oh, goodness. I'd let you guys in and join me on putting on some makeup. I do, my mirror is right in front of me, so you'll probably be seeing me from this angle a lot. But I'll try and face you guys when I'm talking. Um, my hair, it's pretty much done. I'm just trying to get a bit of a curl in my fringe bit, which is... Well, I've got the clip in it and it keeps it out of my face. So again, all my makeup is oh, again, all my makeup is over this way as well. That way. Um, so yeah, you'll be seeing me looking over there a lot. I'm out of breath from that. How did <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, alright, well let's start with primer. I'm just doing like like my classics, the stuff that I know that works. So this is the Elf Paula's Face Primer. Oh god, that was probably very loud. It's actually almost run out. And I'm just going to pop this on my face. I, I find my pores are biggest, like around my nose and this sort of area under my eyes here. That's where my pores are biggest, so that's where I concentrate a lot of... Um, I, that's where I put primers mostly. Um, but I've got a lot on my head, so I might just... I mean, I usually put primer all over my face anyway, but I just don't... Um, like, I don't concentrate on any other parts of my face, usually, um, other than around my nose area. So, a bit there. Unless I'm having a particularly bad day. Uh, skin wise then I just yeah this is my go-to primer there we go and it smells really good too like oh. oh I've got so many little beauty blenders they're just everywhere in my drawers um what foundation am I going to use I think I'm going to use this one because it's probably the best color match and it's the easiest to apply. So this is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation in the shade MW2. I've got my Beauty Blender that I've already dampened. I know it doesn't look like it because they're mini, mini Beauty Blenders. But, you know, I have, I have done that. And I love this foundation too because it smells, it reminds me of coffee. But, yeah. It's probably, yeah, it's probably my favourite. I, I wasn't planning on wearing this one today. I was going to wear the um, the moussey one I've got. But I wanted a little bit more um, coverage. And the moussey one isn't an exact colour match for me either. So I try and stay away from it unless it's like, um, if I just need to pop someone for a video or something. That's when I'll wear that one because I don't mind sort of waste not wasting it because it's going it's being used for what it's meant to be used for. Um, but you know I don't want to use my good foundations just to quickly uh, film a video and then take it all off if you know what I mean. All right, let me get my other mirror. So this one, it, it isn't full, full, full coverage. And I don't mind that. I mean, it sits nice and light on the face. And you can build it up. Like, I'm, I'm going to put just a little bit more on for under my eyes to see if it will cover the... You can't... You can, probably, you can see the bag of my eye. 
but in person they are actually quite dark. So let's just see if I can cover that a little bit better. But if I can't, I can always go back on with some concealer if I need to. That's worked quite nicely. I will just pop on just a smidgen of concealer just to brighten a little bit. So this is the Elf Camo Concealer, Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. And I'm not going to use much at all. I just want to brighten just a little bit there and maybe on my forehead just a little bit. Bring that down my nose. If you're watching this as like a tutorial, um, don't because I really don't have any idea what I'm doing. Um, I literally am just winging it when it comes to makeup. Like I'm still learning so, 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 so much. Um, so yeah, this definitely isn't like a tutorial on how to do this particular makeup. This is just me getting ready. So yeah, how's this looking? Rogue eyelash, yeah. Right, powder. Powder, 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 powder. Of course, Rimmel Stay Matte. This is in the shade Sandstorm, I think. Yeah, Sandstorm. Oh. The only thing with the con with the concealer, with the primer, I find it makes my hands like like I've just put moisturizer or a hand cream on, which doesn't really help me because I have really sweaty hands anyway. So, yeah, it, it's not great for trying to open things and whatnot. Yeah, I'm just going to pop the powder all over my face. A little bit on my neck, just in case I get sweaty or something. I hope the angle's okay for you guys, actually. I always put a lot up here. I, I know it sounds weird, but on the top of my lip and around my nose, I always put a lot on because I get quite sweaty on my top lip. And I've learnt now not to highlight there because I'm always going to get sweaty. Right, I'm going to do a little bit of contour, just a little. So this is the e.l.f. contour palette. I'm going to pop into this a slightly darker shade here. Just a little. Just a little. Like I don't even know if you guys will be able to see that. Just for a little bit of definition. There we go. Can you guys even see that? Yeah, I feel you can sort of see it right there. Um, and with this darker colour, I usually just put a little bit on my jawline, just just a little bit, and I blend it down my neck just a smidge, so it doesn't just look like I've got a brown line underneath underneath my neck. But that, because I've got a bit of a double chin going on, which is totally okay. Oh, it's totally okay. It doesn't mean I like it. Um, why am I holding my brush weird? I just like to give myself. It's, it's hard to see for you guys because this side is lighter. I've got the curtains open today and this side's a bit darker. What I might do is I might bring the tripod around to where you usually sit, where the light's better, so you can see the finished result in the light that I can see it. Um, right, change brushes and go in for just a smidgen of bronzer. This is the L'Oreal Wild Bronze Glow in the shade La Terra. Oh, I was thinking, when I do videos like this, do you guys want me to like list in the description box all of the products that I use and like where I got them from, what shade they're in and stuff? Like, is that something that you guys want in case you want the product or, I mean, I don't know. Tell me, if, you, if that's something that you guys want, comment down below because I will start doing it if that's what you want me to do. All right, just a smidgen of bronzer. Again, you, probably, you guys probably won't even be able to see the bronzer. Because I'm just doing just a tiny little bit just to obviously warm up my face. Just a little bit. And my hair is getting in the way. 
Again, just a little bit on my chin, just, just a tad. I think I can hear a car. Yeah, Mick's coming back over from the shed, so he doesn't actually know that I'm filming, so apologies if he bursts in here and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, blush. Well, because I don't, I'm just going to go with my classic Essence, the blush in the shade Beaming, because it's matte, I, I know how to use it, I like how it, why is this brush purple? Can you guys see that? This brush is purple. What did I use that's purple? I need another brush. Use this one. Um, yeah, like I, I know that it's a good blush. I know it's nice and matte. I know how to use it on my face, whereas the new new couple that I've gotten, I haven't used them a lot, so I'm not really sure uh, how much to use. I've definitely never used I don't think I've used either of them in natural light, so I've used this one in natural light plenty of times, so. Hmm. Is wearing lots of blush like a thing now? I've seen a few videos where they're wearing like lots of blush. And I can get on board for that. I mean, I like blush. Um, now, highlighter. I was going to use the new one, my Physician's Formula Butter one. But I think I'm just going to use the OXX one because this one's a little bit more natural. Um, does it have a shade name? No, it's just called highlighter. It's like a champagne-y colour. Oh, goodness. Right, I knew I should have washed my brushes. I had planned on washing my brushes, but I didn't plan on doing this video, so my brushes aren't clean for the video. I don't know if... There we go. You guys can see that. This one is really, like, nice and bright, but it's still sort of, like, natural. If you know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. I know what I mean. I hope you can see this side as well. And the good thing is that because, I mean, the time now is like 7.30 in the morning and we're not having lunch. We're not going getting there to have lunch until like 11. So if my highlight is too bright, hopefully by then it should calm itself down. Just a smidgen above my eyebrows. Pepper's probably going to start barking too. Just so you know, if you can hear her in the background, she always barks at Mick. Like, literally, she'll watch him get out of the car. Oh, that's a bit much. Um, She'll watch him get out of the car and come to the door, and he'll, like, go to open the door. She knows who it is, and then she'll still bark at him. Like, he'll stand, he can stand there at the fly screen door and knock on the door, and she'll still bark at him. Oh, it's just hilarious. I need a smaller brush, but they're all... Oh, they're all dirty. A little bit on my nose. That's a lot. Puts more on anyway. Okay. Eyes. I'm going to prime my eyes with my, oh gosh, um, e.l.f. eye primer. Real quick. I never know how I should um, blend this sort of stuff. Like, do, you, do you use a finger? Do you use a beauty blender? Do you use a brush? I just sort of wing it and see what works. I mean, it usually always works, but is this just soaking it up? No, no, it looks all right. Oh, my eyes are so hooded today. This one especially. There we go. Yep, um, I'm thinking a bronzy sort of look, so I think I'm going to go for this palette. This is the e.l.f. New Classics palette. Does it have a... It's got a number on it. The New Classics, yeah. I think that's that's what it's called. Um, Yeah, I'm not going to do anything too fancy. Oh, there we go. But, yeah, I love this palette. As you can see, I use it quite often. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a mirror. That's my only complaint. Oh, itchy. Oh, I do have a smaller brush there. Oopsies. Okay, I'm going to start off by dipping into this, sh this shade here. This is called Truffle. Grab my mirror. 
and I'm just going to use this as a bit of a transition shade. I think my eyes are extra hooded because I, I did drink a lot of beer last night. Um, so I'm not, I'm not hung over today. I'm just perhaps a little dehydrated, so I'm a bit puffy. If you can hear um, like banging and stuff in the background, it's Mick. I don't know what he's doing out there, but his car's parked like literally right behind outside where you were, like where you were sitting, the the phone sitting. Right outside, outside that window is where his car is. So I don't know what he's doing. But oh, I just heard the car start actually. So I don't know what he's doing. Right, so now I'm going to dip into this next shade here. This is in the shade Darling. And I'm just going to pop that all over just to sort of deepen things a bit. I feel like I'm not sitting very straight, but I think it's just the way I'm holding my mirror. Yeah, it's the mirror. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm not... Usually when I do these sorts of videos, I like rush through so that I'm not, you know, taking up so much time. But... I mean, today I'm not too fussed. I don't even know if I'll upload this video. To be honest, I mean, if it ends up looking like crap, then I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to upload it. But, um, yeah, I'm not too, I'm not even too fussed about talking in, in this video. What is that? Oh, There's a bit of fluff stuck to my eye, I think. There we go. Got it. Another thing I find when I do eyeshadow, like when I do it properly, is I have such trouble getting them even. Like not even the two eyes, even. Even on one eye. Like this one, I don't know how it's looking for you. If I just close my eyes, this one, I find it looks really good here. And it looks really good here. But then here in the middle, it just, just doesn't look as good. Like there's not enough color there but I think that looks better I think it's because I have hooded eyes I need to bring in the middle I need to bring the color up sort of further up towards my eyebrow I think that's what's going on I might even just um I've only got like two clean brushes, so I'm using the same brush. I'm just going to diffuse, because it looks quite blocky. I'm just going to diffuse the edges with the first shade we jumped into, Truffle. Just blend that out a little bit. That's better. And if, if you see me going like this, this isn't normal. That's normal. I feel like, what, especially if I'm just blending the top out, I have to go like this to get a decent blend. There we go, much better. Um, and I think on the lid, I wasn't going to do anything too fancy. And now I don't know what to do with my lid. What about Muse? Should I just do a bronzy look, Muse? It's, it's matte. Or should I do like a pinky, shimmery shade? Or gold or rose gold. Oh, I don't know what to do. I need a bronzy shimmer. Should I use these ones? God, that nose highlight in the camera. <laughs> okay. I don't want something too shimmery, so I think this one will be, this palette will be good. This is, what's it called? 
This is the Rimmel Magnifies Reloaded Edition. This is what it looks like. Again, it doesn't have a mirror, but we can deal with that. Uh, take this brush and I'm going to dip into... <sighs> I think I'm going to use this brownie colour here. It is a shimmer and I have a fresh brush. I'm just going to pack that on the lid. And I am going to bring it quite high up in the crease. Again, because I have hooded eyes, you know, I'm not going to get the payoff if I literally just put it on my lid because you can only see it's a tiny little bit of my lid. My nose is starting to get runny and it's irritating. What did I do there? Hmm. I'm just I'm just patting it. I'm not swiping. I'm not wiping. I need to. Oh, please excuse me. Oh, my nose is getting so runny and I don't have anything to wipe it with. Perks of not being able to edit. Oh my god, that's disgusting. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm just patting it. I'm not wiping. That way I get the best colour payoff. I think I've gone too high there. I can, I can blend it. I'll blend it just a little bit. Use it just a little bit. Where's that other palette? Oops. I need to get a new mirror. It keeps coming apart. Oh my god, why do... Every time I put makeup on, I swear to god, I start getting a runny nose. How does that look for you guys? I don't even know if you can see that, to be honest. Is that too dark? I don't know. Of all my makeup, it's always my eyes that I have trouble with. Always. Always, always, always. Right, let's try the other eye. I feel like I can't do this. Hang on. I hope the music's not too loud. I had struggled with that with the last video I recorded. Well, I didn't struggle with it. I just didn't know if it was loud enough or too loud or what. And this eye, this eye always looks better than this eye. I don't know why, because I struggle with how, like, how I put eyeshadow and stuff on. I struggle with this eye. It just doesn't feel right. But it always looks better than the other one. Gosh dang it. All right, I'm going to blend a little bit more of this one. And you can see just how far up. I have taken that. I hope you can see anyway. Just how far up I've taken that shimmer shade. Again, it's always the centre. Maybe it's just the light. Yeah, I think it's just the light. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with that, how that's turned out. Oh, my bloody nose. Um, right. Oh, gosh. I'm going to do my brows next. I'm so sorry for sniffing and wiping my nose. Anyway, eyebrows. This is the e.l.f. I can't remember what it's called now. It's basically a clear wax, eyebrow wax. So I'm just going to run this through my eyebrows, just, just a tad. Mm. 
you supposed to do eyebrows before eyeshadow? I mean, I know people put eyeshadow on first and then do all their base makeup and stuff, but I mean, I, I never know when to do eyebrows. Because I was, as I was putting the waxy stuff in, I was like, don't get it in the in the eyeshadow, don't get it in the eyeshadow, you know. Um, right, I'm just going to brush them up a little bit with my spoolie. I always brush them like straight up at first. Get out of their hair. Yeah, brush them straight up and then I sort of shape them a little bit. hair everywhere I struggle so hard to get them even I hope everyone struggles with eyebrows because yeah Just going to put a little bit more in just to set them down. That looks better. This one makes me look I'm look, looking like I'm crazy. Can I just ruin that? I think I did. That's better. Oh, hey, Pepper. What are you doing? No, I'm on recording. Pepper, Pepper, come here. And say hello. Hello. You always look so sad. I promise you, she's not sad. She just doesn't like the phone, like being on, the, on camera. All right, there you go. Right, that'll do for eyebrows, I think. Uh, what am I up to? Eyeliner. Yes. I'm missing an eyeliner. Oh no, there it is. It's right at the back of the drawer. Alright. I've got some what liner this is a maybelline lasting drama lightener um in the shade matte light what and i'm just going to chuck that in my lower waterline just a smidge like honestly not that much at all it looks really like pigmented on the camera but in person it's not that bad. I don't even realise I pull half the faces that I pull when I'm doing like mascara and stuff. So enjoy the faces. <laughs> okay. Now I need... Um, this is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Lucky Lead. I'm just going to pop that up the top if I can. This one, I'm sorry for looking down too. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, does anybody else like, doesn't matter what they use, they always get like tickled when they do this. Oh, struggle down. I know you can't really tell that there's anything there, but you can tell, like, oh no. My eyes are starting to water. No, I think I got this. I got this. Now I've got to do the other eye. Oh no. I don't often do this, by the way. I don't often do this one. 
what I thought I would for today. Oh, no, that'll do. That'll do. Otherwise, my eyes will start watering. Okay. Um, my bloody nose, I tell you. Eyelash curling time. I got these eyelash curlers from Target. But they are just elf ones. I'm going to be using the Yamco Beauty Big Lash Full Volume Mascara. Oh, I think it's in the shade Big Lash. It's black anyway. Pop a bit of this on. Hopefully not get it on my eyeshadow. I like this mascara because it's really um, separating. Come on, play the game. A little bit. I only put a little bit on my lower lashes. Just literally just so that you can see them. Because my... Um, like I've got quite dark hair on my head, but everywhere else it's quite light, like almost a blonde colour. Um, so you you can't see it half the time. I'm sure there's lots of people who probably have the same problem, but okay. A little bit more of a different one. I, I thought I wanted the natural lash look today, but I'm just going to jump into this one. This is the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost. This is in black. I don't think it has a natural shade, but this one the brush isn't as big and it's smaller at the end, so you can really get into like the corners and stuff. I won't put any more on my bottom lashes. Uh, maybe just a smidge in there and in the corner. Just a little. There we go. I don't think I want any colour on my under eye. Under eye. Yeah, under eye bit today. I don't think so. Oh, I'm going to pull this whole drawer out. Lips. I'm going to go for a nude lip today. So I'm going to use... Is this the one I want? I'm sure these have a shade on them. Oh yeah, nude, pink. Yeah, I'm going to go for a nude lip today. So I've got this W7 Mega Matte Lip Liner in the shade Nude. So I'm just going to, I'm still not very good at lining my lips, but you got to practice somehow. Oh, that's right. This one was really pale. And it looks really nice and nude, like in on the packaging, like on the pencil. But in real life, it's like a pinky nude, and I'm not. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Uh, I know I'm not talking a lot either, but. That's probably why I shouldn't be talking, but I'm just concentrating. Yeah, can you guys see that? I think you can see it a little bit. Right. 
I think I'm going to try this one. This one's new and I haven't tried this yet. This is the Model Co Lip Lacquer in the shade Morocco. I don't, did I try either of these? I don't think I tried these. Whoa. It smells like lollies. Oh. Oh, that smells good. But it, uh, it looks more like a lip gloss than anything. I'm sure on the packaging it said... Let me just... Before I put that on, I just want to do a bit of a swatch. Yeah, see, that's... I'm sure it, this one was the one that was a matte lipstick. Hmm. Do I still have the boxes? I think I've still got the boxes. Hang on. Oh, it's backwards, but it says liquid lipstick. Like, no, I'm sorry. That's way too sheer. That's like a lip topper. Oh, well, at least I have a nude lip topper now. Crikey, now what I'm going to... What I'm going to do, because I've not actually worn this one out yet. I'm going to go with this one. This is a L'Oreal Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Smooth Caramel. And I've not worn this one out yet, so I'm going to pop a little bit of this on. I think this is a truer nude. Yeah, that's a truer nude than the lip liner, but that's okay. We can blend them. Or is that too pale? Is that too pale, guys? I don't know. I think that's too pale. I really do. Ha! <sighs> What am I going at? 37 minutes. Oh, well. Um, hey, if you guys have made it this far in the video, comment below and be like, it's too light, it's too dark, it doesn't suit you, I mean, the lip colour. Because I think for... Oh, my goddamn nose. Um, yeah, I think for what I'm going for, it's not going to work. Where? Oh, that one's the wrong way up. I should go and take it off, but, you know, I'm not going to. Because I'm just going to put one straight over the top. This L'Oreal lipstick. This is a colour-rich lipstick in the shade Le Beige, I think. Oh, yeah, I used this in that video where I, um, when my makeup was mixed up. No, I had to use this as mascara. Thing. Excuse me. That's better. I feel like my music today reminds me of circus music. So that looks really dark and like, ugh, in the camera, but in real life, is it too dark? Oops. I don't know. I think it's too dark. Should I just? I'll just go for a red. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll just go for a red. I'll post the picture on Insta. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was a bit of a, a bit of a fail, but anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. You know the deal. I'll see you in the next one.